The Getty Archive contains 120 million photographs dating as far back as the 1850s. It provides a fascinating look at our changing world. Its collection of photos taken of Soho in London has just gone on display at the Getty Images Gallery in the city. Vanessa Cudderford went to have a look at rare prints of the famous entertainment district. Soho has long been notorious for its nightlife. Throughout the 20th century, it was a popular haunt for celebrities, artists and musicians alike. This mural commemorates some of the characters that helped make Soho so culturally influential. We've got the jazz artist George Melly, the comedian Groucho Marx and the poet Dylan Thomas. Soho is just one square mile wide, but its cultural reach is far greater. This new exhibition at Getty Images Gallery, just a stone's throw from Soho, documents the history of the village, from the stars who frequented it to immigrants who made it their home and turned Soho into London's original multicultural melting pot. This photograph was the inspiration for the exhibition. A year ago now, actually, one of my team came to me and said, I found this amazing photograph, this beautiful, beautiful negative. Um, it's a tiny little shop in Soho. And he said, we could do a whole exhibition around Soho. You know, I think it really is. It's a cultural hub of London. I think there are a lot of those hubs, but I think Soho has got to be, I think, the most important one. And it's multicultural. That's what's so fantastic about it. The Windmill Theatre is also immortalised here. It was famous during the Second World War for never closing, even when bombs rained down on it. The story of the glamorous windmill girls who kept performing was told in the movie Mrs Henderson Presents. Another Soho legend is the jazz club Ronnie Scott's. Dizzy Gillespie and Miles Davis, just two of the many musicians who've played here. The club is still open today, but you can't take photographs inside anymore. This archive captures a golden age of Soho. Its seedy underbelly helped to glamorise, even mythologise this small corner of London. It also documents the changing face of the area. Before and after pictures illustrate how Soho has been gentrified in recent years. Today, visitors come for the new designer shops as much as the old bohemian tradition. There's a real body of people that feel very, very strongly that Soho mustn't be gentrified, that we have to keep the character and maintain the look and the feel and the cuteness and the quaintness of it all. Curators hope this exhibition will serve as a reminder of the importance of preserving Soho's rich architectural and cultural history into the future to ensure that its bright lights never fade. Vanessa Cadiford, TRT World, Soho.